Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a PlayStation 1 Classic to be added to our playthrough list. So, we're going to start doing rotations, so one day you'll, you'll see Yoshi's Island, one day you'll see this game. And this game is one that brought a lot of, a lot of oomph to my heart, you know? I put a lot of time and effort into this game to 100%. Created and developed by Insomniac! <laughs> We have Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for the Sony PlayStation 1. Um, why you're not seeing uh, Spyro 1 on this game right away is because I just previously did it on my other channel, and I don't want to do overkill for those who want to see a different game. Anyways, we have In the World of Dragons. rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Oh man, he got sucked in. Meanwhile, in the world of Avalar. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa! Rough landing. Hi! Which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! Kill it! Kill it! Go! You imbecile! You ain't my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Anyways, the adventure begins. So yeah, this is a different take on the Spyro series. This is also where the game kind of went for the next few games until a hero's tale and then it changed so controls square to charge circle to fire uh hold triangle to look around push triangle to do that uh l and r don't just move the cameras um select brings that up uh start will bring up your options um if you push down all the l r buttons then you can find missing gems later on this is actually unlocked in the third game but it's kind of like a little funny thing in this. So, and X, you know, X to jump, X again at the top of your jump to glide, and then triangle to hover. We will learn about that later on as we talk to many of the in-game characters. Our goal is to collect all the gems and all the orbs slash talismans of each world. If you guys hear random meowing or breathing, that's because my kitty is right in front of the mic. Hi, Spyro! Welcome She's leaving. To Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, 
the mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Yeah, sure, Pogo. Oh yeah, there's also a total number of enemies in a level. So you see those like spirit orbs? I believe if you press start, you can see, yep. So we are missing the talisman, which is a mining pick. We have zero orbs. Uh, zero to three orbs, two out of four enemies, and twenty out of four hundred gems. I believe in this game, this is the only game in the entire Spyro series where there's only four hundred gems per level, always. Like beginning level has four hundred gems, the last end of the game level has four hundred gems, and there are three boss fights in this game. So it's not the it's still as long as the other Spyro games per se. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it due to the fact that there's, you know, less worlds, but more levels in World 2. Like, World 2 has a substantially huge amount of war, uh, levels to go through. Which, I have no issue with it. Like, Spyro is one of my all-time favorite games. And I thought, why not change it up a little bit so you guys don't get stale of Yoshi's Island? Because as much as you guys like one game, one game does get stale after a while. And it's kind of like God of War, you know? But God of War is our main LP, so we'll be focusing on ending that game first. But if you guys also want me to increase the amount of daily uploads, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Because I might start doing that just so we can, you know, finish off games faster. So, yeah. Or we can do three games a day, like, you know, and just make longer parts. I can start making half an hour to 40 minute parts for a game. That way, you know, we get a lot more done. Looks like the only place we have to go down is here. So let's talk to Zoe the Fairy. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she's asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. Okay. And how do you remember it? Oh, Zap. That Zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Ah, uh, she gets a lot more funny in A Hero's Tale. In like, A Hero's Tale, they take the comedy to a... Uh, bigger degree, but Insomniac no longer had Spyro at that point. Though Insomniac did learn from the comedy train when they did make Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank will be played on this channel eventually. Um, I kind of got stale after after doing it after a while because I was doing it on my other channel. And I didn't want to just jump into the games that I was playing on the other channel right away because that channel is now being turned into a live stream slash Pokemon channel. So you guys will mainly see Pokemon videos on that channel. Not a lot of our uh, other content. This channel, on the other hand, will have all my gaming Let's Plays stuff. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Great, we got introduced to money bags. Let's pay him. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. You know, I, I want to question if Moneybags is a Jew. Because he seems very greedy in the Spyro games. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Well, I don't need to, thank you very much. I already told my subscribers how to look around. Apparently, you still need to babble on about that. And there's the talisman. I highly recommend you just do this after we're done everything else. That way you know you don't get distracted or accidentally go on the portal without finishing off the level. Oh, you can also kill the fodder slash little animals that run around and get extra lives that way. Though you probably will have enough lives in this game to survive pretty darn easily. There's no level in this game that's like, you know, excruciatingly painful. I believe Spiral 3 has a level or two that can be annoying, but this this game tends to not have anything overly difficult. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. What, what do we want to do first? Well, let's just collect everything before we continue on. <coughs> Bar me. We can get three, uh, or three, two of the three orbs in this world. So, that's about the best we can do for that. Just because certain things are unlocked later on, like, when we've seen that ladder that we could climb, well, we can't climb that yet. We don't get that till the second half, well, I guess, I guess the second third of the game. Let's talk to this little guy down here, see what he has to, uh... Great! The Superfly power-up is active! 
all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Okay, thanks, buddy. So we have a new challenge, and these things are timed, just like our flying. So, with the ruby one, the topaz one. Wait, was that the topaz one? This might be the topaz one. No, that's the topaz one. The emerald, the sapphire, and then there should be an amethyst. There we go. We got our first orb by doing that. Pretty. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. God, he sounds annoying because he talks like this. Huh. One orbs. One. Or I love how it does that in this game. A lot of future games are just, or like more futuristic games, are lazy and they just go one orbs. It's like, it's not one orb, it's clearly one orb, but... Hey, that guy's wearing red. Need that gem up there. I'm sorry, dude, but... I need that gem. You can actually kill that guy by that. But anyways, let's talk to Bouncer. I've my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. I wonder if this guy is, um, if, or these guys. Okay, where is it? Why is it not spawning in yet? There it is. What if these guys are actually uh, the ones who created the gems of the spiral universe? So all you have to do is aim and fire at the lizard. And, um, that was really bad. Why did that go so high? Eh, huh, not used to it going that high. My shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Okay, you don't need to tell me that. So anyways, we just follow him to the next lizard, obviously. There, flame in your booty. Flame in your booty. Flame in your booty, boy. Flame in your booty. And... yeah. I don't care. We don't need to hear about that anymore. Literally, it's the same thing, we just gotta aim slightly different. See? And then we just keep following to each lizard. So this lizard's next. And then he'll just tell us that we can hold down triangle. Like, who didn't even use triangle for those other parts? Like, seriously. I don't- I never even- Whoa. Can't do that there, because there's like a wall. Wow, dude, you didn't go very far. Higher? Okay, sir, let's go. Can't flame you. I want- I want roast mouse for dinner. Okay, apparently I was not allowed to be in front of him. Are you a kangaroo rat? You might not actually be a mouse, you might be a rat. Now for this one, what you do is you just hop up onto this embedded emerald that's sitting in the ground and aim up here. Shouldn't be too difficult to hit this guy. He is stationary after all. Alright, let's see what's going on up here. See, there are gems and stuff up there that we can't get yet. Sad, because the first level of the game and you have to backtrack to it, which, which isn't the end of the world, but it can get annoying. I, mean, I personally don't like it, but whatever floats the uh, game designer's boats. I just like being able to finish off my levels, you know? There we go, got him before he moved. Now the last one, this guy's cheap, he can jump really high, but the last one's just up on top of the main building. Like, not really main building, it's just the first building you see in the game. Uh oh. That's way too close. Wow, we actually hit him! I didn't think that would work. Yay! You saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb! Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Oh, well, another fairy? Really? Probably Zoe, right? I believe you can just press... Yeah, you can press start to speed that up. You don't need to see it bounce every time. The only time I do that is when I need a distraction, uh, you know, to actually, like, text someone or do something off screen real quick without actually interrupting the game. See, now watch, you'll have another mission to do this. I believe it's the same amount, but you can do that one, but you can't complete the rest of them because we need to be able to climb a ladder. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Because you guys can't fight off lizards yourselves, you damn rats. Yay! The beautiful little mining pick. This 
magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Oh, that is so amazing, Twitchy. Let's go. Ha! Our puzzle, our orb challenge reset in Summer Forest. to introduce ourselves before my name is Alora. uh hi i'm spyro what are you some kind of goat i'm a fawn you dork oh sorry did you meet the gym cutters in glimmer yeah they gave me a souvenir too they called it a talisman they gave you a talisman what is it special i just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me there are 14 talismans in avalar and they are all magical if you can collect enough of them they can be used to defeat ripto <laughs> Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talismans. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Okay, Summer Forest. I think we have time to do the Home World's little, you know, halfway collection. Because once again, the Home World is not completable until you get multiple power ups. Which, once again, I'm a little nitpicky with, but whatever. I don't know, in video games, I don't like not having everything collected in a certain area. I don't know why, but I'm not one of those guys. Like, I like to speedrun, but I like to speedrun in the sense that I've collected everything. I wonder if no sheep were harmed in the making of this game. That's like a little insomnia gig that they have going on, like, you know, a little gag that they have, like, yeah. Nice trees. Can I burn them down? Eh, can't destroy summer forest. That sucks. Eh, anyways, I don't really want to talk to you. You just tell me how to do more button commands that are... Oh, and by the way, Hunter's a long time glitch here. He's supposed to be here, but for some reason... The game likes to get bugged, and I mean like all copies of the game, whether it be on the PS3 shop, the PS1, the PS2, it it's always seems to break, but Hunter is supposed to be up there. I know you're supposed to technically talk to Alora, but that doesn't really dictate anything. On well, this game, you also have one giant gem total, you don't have- see, there he is! Sometimes he's there, and he literally just talks to you about gliding. But then again, he also has a glide tutorial out here, and I don't actually believe you need to glide. You can just charge and jump, but... Now, money bags. He'll teach you how to swim, I believe, for 500 gems, so there's no point in talking to him just yet. Because, well, obviously we don't have enough money to do that. We won't get enough money for a bit. I also forgot to mention, red gems are worth 1, green gems are worth 2, blue gems are worth 5... Gold gems are worth 10, and purple gems are worth 25. I do believe there is a purple gem here. Mm, not that one. It's up here. It's this one. Right? Yeah, in the original games, they were bright purple. In this game, they're like a dark uh, violet color. Still very beautiful gems. I do like them myself. But... Now, here's his little glide jump tutorial. I'm like... Seriously, guys, we had to, we did this in the other level. We know how to do it here because clearly we had to use it in the other levels. Hey, Hunter, guess what? You didn't do a very good job of making it over here. Boom. Very. Let me guess. The final challenge. Yep. Get a running jump, glide, and then hover. Now give me my damn orb that I deserve, Mr. Cheetah. I wonder if cheetahs cheat a lot. And actually, I believe that's all we can do in this level. So, 
Uh, without further ado, -do, I think this will end off this episode, and I will see you guys next time for some more Spire 2 Ripto's Rage. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like nostalgic games, and I'll see you back here. Peace out.